Legendary footballer Diego Maradona passed away at the age of 60. He suffered a cardiac arrest at his home on the outskirts of Buenos Aires earlier in the day, his lawyer confirmed. Maradona had reportedly underwent emergency surgery for subdural hematoma several weeks ago, reported Reuters. The Trump administration on Wednesday granted ByteDance a new 7-day extension of an order directing the Chinese company to sell its TikTok short video sharing app according to a court filing. The administration previously had granted ByteDance a 15-day extension of the order issued in August which was set to expire on Friday. Indian equities have registered huge foreign inflows in the month of November till date with record investments of 58,694 crore rupees. These investments crossed 50,000 crore rupees on Tuesday after foreign portfolio investors poured in 4,890 crore rupees in the stock markets. The United States real gross domestic product grew at an annual rate of 33.1% and 7.4% sequentially in the third quarter of 2020, signaling a rebound of the economy from impacts of the coronavirus pandemic. In the second quarter, US real GDP contracted by 31.4%, marking lowest economic growth since the government started keeping records in 1947, according to the second estimate released by the Bureau of Economic Analysis on Wednesday. India's economy is expected to recover early next year from recession but at a modest pace according to a majority of economists in a Reuters poll who said their upgraded growth predictions were based on the progress of COVID-19 vaccines. The recent vaccine news has boosted Indian stocks to repeated record highs and fueled hopes of a pickup in the economic activity.